paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life, your wedding day. This could be brutal. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. Or even more outrageous, your mother-in-law. They will rip you apart. This is Gina Sole, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it, I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high. And she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. Meet Rhea and Graydon. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over all control of your wedding to one of your mothers. So that's every girl's dream. How do, you, how do I give that up? I can't be snotty. I'm a little bit more of a gimmick person. A little bit eccentric, I think. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Now I really know you're crazy. What happened? Like, what's going on? May the best mom win. Rhea and Graydon are a cute couple with a competitive edge who believe all is fair in love and war. Graydon is a really great guy. Um, he is manly enough to put up with me, but he's got uh, a soft heart when I need it. I need a kiss, honey. Bella one. More. Thank you. Rhea's a very loving, very family-oriented girl. She's athletic, which is a huge bonus so we can play sports together. Take a shot, take a shot, come on. I got no pads, but you got no game. What are you gonna do? Play I mean, sports that's... or mean Sorry, with sports? Sorry, dominate you in sports. Dominate you? Woo -hoo -hoo! Whoa, 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 whoa. I rented a cottage for us up north. I thought it would be a huge surprise. We went out on a paddle boat ride, went under a bridge, and I popped the question. But nine months after Graydon's proposal, these two haven't made any major moves towards marriage. We're both teachers. We just bought this new house. We are way too busy to plan our own wedding. I was supposed to get these back like a week ago, and the kids are freaking. <sighs> it's something I really want to do, get married, but I don't want to plan it. Rhea and Graydon won't be tying the knot anytime soon unless wedding planning pro Gina Sole steps in. I'm here to meet Ray and Graydon. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my terms. Ray and Graydon, I hear you're engaged, but you haven't had the time to tie the knot. I want a great wedding, and I need the time to plan it, and we just don't have it. I can make your wedding happen, but there is one condition. You have to hand over all control of your wedding, and I mean everything. The venue, the wedding dress, the decor, to one of your mothers. Mothers? My mother or his stepmom? Either one. You would pick. But, like, I kind of know what I want to look like for my dress, so I, I can't have that? That's huge. So well, that's every girl's dream. How do, you, how do I give that up? <laughs> but you will get married. Very we'll risky. plan a wedding. It'll be fabulous. I like the marriage thing, finally, but I don't, oh, oh gosh, that's... Ray and Graydon, I need your answer now. I, I oh just want to get married. Bottom line, we get married and maybe have a good time. I vote yes. Uh, I guess I give a... You have to say yes. I'm the bride. All right. right. Let's do this. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Get us married, please. Yes, yes, let's get you married. <laughs> Ray and Graydon are a super sweet couple, but they have no idea what they're in for. It's time to bring on the moms. Mother of the bride, Luba, a former school teacher, treats every day like an over-the-top holiday. My house is a festive house. It celebrates all the different seasons. And it goes way overboard at Halloween time. My mom, the Lubster, Love her, love her to death. 
She's very eccentric, over the top. She's the trinket queen. She's got trinkets and toys and lights all over the place for every holiday during the year. What do you think? I need a bunny hug. Oh. It gets out of control. OK, I love my bowling league. She has the energy of a four-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With some sort of sugar high. I also make tin can critters out of recycling cans. There you go. Stepmother of the groom, Julie, believes that life is meant to be savored like a fine glass of wine. I like the finer things in life. I like good wine. I like good food. I have snobbish accents to me. <laughs> I've sold wines in Europe. I sell wines here locally. Julia is my stepmom. I love her to death. She's an awesome cook. Used to be a chef. I think I'm a good stepmother. I can be the evil stepmother sometimes because I get to tell him the way it is. Julie and I have been known to fight, especially in the kitchen. She'll say, this is how you do it and I might do it, and then when she turns her back, I'm back to what I want to do. These moms come from very different worlds, and their planets are about to collide. Yeah. I've only met Julie a couple of times, but she seems like a very fancy lady and a little bit too rigid. Lou and I don't have a relationship. I could show up with a really good bottle of wine, and we'd end up sitting in the basement in a fake cemetery, drinking and not talking at all. So it's no surprise that their ideas for the wedding are completely different. I don't want to see what every single bride has done. My vision for the wedding is to be a perfect, chic vineyard wedding. The wedding is going to be in a barn. Ah. What I don't want to see at our wedding is wacky tackiness. I would like to have some sort of class left at the end of the evening. If Luba was decorating the wedding, we'd have every color under the sun. I don't want to have to make egg crafts at the table. <laughs> I want everybody to have their own individual wedding cake, not a cupcake. No wedding cake. Instead, we're going to have a whole bunch of apple fritters. I do not want a formal sit-down dinner. I want more of a buffet style. There's going to be no buffet at this wedding. It's going to be a classic, elegant, five-course sit-down meal. If Julie planned her wedding, it would be very fancy and over-the-top dramatic. With so many ideas and so little time, Gina arrives to lay down the rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. I will present both of your visions to the couple. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. And this part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. <laughs> I have to win. Obviously, I have to win. Julie, how are you feeling? I don't assist anybody. No way. Gonna win. Who would choose a weirdo wedding over an elegant wedding? If Luba designs this wedding, it's going to be a barton full of crap with two people trying to find a space to get married in the center. I'm afraid on both ends. Like, I don't know what to expect for anybody, really. Honey, you trust me, right? I don't know if I trust you, Mom. <laughs> Thanks. And I don't know if I trust you. I'm just going to do it right. May the best mom win. Ray and Graydon are totally trapped in the middle. They are two really nice, compassionate kids. It's going to be tough for them. This is intense. I didn't expect our moms to be so competitive. I have no interest in being Luba's assistant. Not interested, don't care for it, not gonna happen. I am going to win this. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain their wedding visions. Rhea's mom has very eccentric tastes. You put her in charge of a wedding, who knows what could happen. I am putting together the perfect centerpiece for this wedding. The centerpiece is going to be a mason jar with tall branches, and it's going to be highlighted with peacock feathers and, of course, ribbon holding it all together. It'll be beautiful. Gina and Rhea are going to love this. I'm buying some desserts for a wedding. Hmm. 
If Great and Stepmom plans the wedding, I think it's going to be very hoity-toity and high class, and that's not who we are. We're low class people. <laughs> <laughs> It's very important to have fancy treats as a wedding. A wedding should be as elegant as you can make it. It should be as classy as you can make it. Hopefully, you only ever do it once. I can I have it in a box? I'm in a hurry to go. Thanks. Okay, sure. Ready or not, it's time for the moms to present their visions to Gina. Hi, Julie. Hi, Gina. Hi, Lula. I know you're there somewhere. What is your vision? My vision for the wedding is a chic vineyard wedding. At a vineyard that you love. It's gorgeous. I envision a magical, rustic barnyard wedding. We're going to have lots of wine. We're going to have red wines, white wines. <laughs> Smell. I'm sold on the wine idea. I love it. We're going to have finger foods, buffet style. You can pick and choose what you want. Lots of apple fritters instead of the wedding cake. OK. Mm. Do you think the bride will be OK cutting a fritter, though, Luba? The bride will love the fritters. Everybody gets an individual wedding cake, but it's not a cupcake. And really high-end desserts, like these. But they do look beautiful. Now, this is something I made for the centerpiece for the wedding. OK. And this represents what I think the wedding should be all about, down to nature. I love your vision. I think you did a great job. Let's pitch it to them and see what they say. Thank you. <laughs> it's hard to picture each mom at the other's wedding. I can't picture Julie eating a fritter in a barn, and I can't picture Luba drinking six glasses of wine in a vineyard. I'm going to be really disappointed if I don't win, because otherwise, we're going to have to put up with a widow wedding in a barn. This is such a special day. I want to make it perfect for her. Gina will present the mom's visions to the couple. And in this war, there's no place for second best. Good morning. Hi. Come on in. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Absolutely, yes. And little do they know, their mothers are watching everything from a nearby room. <laughs> These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. That makes me nervous. Are you ready for presentation number one? I Absolutely. am, big time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Luba's vision is for a rustic, magical barnyard wedding. Oh, see, that's so romantic. Your daughter doesn't know what she's talking about. This wedding will take place in a barn. That'll be amazing. Luba's color inspiration is of a peacock. The greens, the blues, the intense colors. I look good in those colors. I don't. The wedding will be a buffet, so more casual, more fun. There will be no traditional wedding cake at this wedding. There will only be apple fritters. You love apple fritters. Don't mind if I do. Fresh lemonade served to guests. Perfect. Lemonade? Is it spiked? The centerpieces, mason jars filled with branches and peacock feathers. That's awesome. They probably See, smell that's... like pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Your dress, oh my God. strapless, and a long, flowy skirt. That's beautiful. This is amazing. This will be a fun, more casual, rustic, magical event. You know what? The wedding is... is not a hoedown. This is right? my mom. It's a redneck <laughs> wedding. Are you ready for presentation number two? Yes. Yes. <gasps> wow. Very elegant. Julie's vision is of a chic vineyard wedding. We both love wine. The wine is key here. Yeah. All of the centerpieces will be low, filled with azaleas, lilacs, tones of lavender and purple. Beautiful. I do like the idea of having low centerpieces rather than low budget centerpieces. That's my Not boy, you tell her. Rhea, your dress, more princess style, also strapless, a little more structured, and definitely a full ball gown. Julie envisions you with actually a panel of purple down the back of the skirt. Oh, interesting. Don't be no, so no, typical. Don't shake your finger at my daughter. 
Julie's envisioning a five course sit down formal meal. Not a big fan of that. I think the buffet style is the way to go. There will not be one big traditional wedding cake. Everyone will have their own individual wedding cake served to them. I've never seen that. I want our wedding to have a wow factor, and that's what will bring the wow factor. No cakes. No, oh. you don't want a cake. And lots of wine. Wine tasting, wine flights, wine throughout the reception. I love the red wine. It's delicious. Overall, it, this one is a little bit cleaner, a bit nicer, but uh, the abundance of purple, I think, is um, a little too feminine. It's a wedding. He doesn't Nuts. want feminine. Take some time to really think about the choice you're going to make. Taste the wine, feel the fabric, consider the venue. I'll be back in a few minutes for your decision. Well, I'm going to have some wine. Julie and Luba are cut off while Rhea and Graydon decide which wedding they want. Your okay. mom's wedding is a big gimmick. And honestly, there are some things in there that I like. The problem I have here is that this is your mom, not us. Julie's wedding's not perfect. Her setup is more elegant, but at the same time, there's elements there that I disagree with as well. I love this, I love this. Both moms work so hard, and it's gonna break their hearts who we don't pick. What do you see that's best for us? Do you want fun, maybe unconventional, or do you want more elegant and sophisticated? I don't want guests to come into a venue and be distracted by rubber boots and glitzy, glamorous peacocks and roosters and... You've said that, but just help me pick because I don't know and I just want to make the right decision. I'd want this to be the best for us. You can't just hate everything. Find the good things and tell me what you like, okay? Get on board with me. This is our wedding. It's happening sooner than we think and we need to make a choice that's best for us. What do you think, honey? Like, seriously. We have to decide, Grady, and I don't know what to say, so I need you to just make me feel like I'm going to make the right decision. So what's your top priority? Is it glitzy, gimmicky, decorations and weird kind of barnyard decor? Or is it nice wines, good fabrics, tasty desserts, five course meal, more formal stuff? What's, what's the priority for you? I want to have fun. Okay, I want good music. We both are music lovers. Food, obviously, we're huge food fans. Maybe you more than me. But I just want something that's more fun. I don't want something to be hoity-toity. I want an open bar and some good food and some good music. That's it. Okay, so we agreed. We're happy. You're happy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Gina's going to come in here any minute. Who, do you want to tell her or do you want me to tell her? Gina? Yeah. I'll talk to Gina. What? Okay, I kind of wanted to tell Gina, and I kind of wanted you to tell the moms. So Good. I got to do the dirty work? Yes. Hello. Hello. Have you decided? We have. Yep. What is your decision? Do you want to do it? Do you want me to do it? You can, you can go for it. All right. Uh, well, Gina. Wait. Don't tell me. Tell your moms. Oh, my God, you're telling them. <laughs> Ray and Graydon, your moms have been backstage the entire time listening to all of your comments. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> OK. Let your moms know who you've chosen. OK, Julie, um, after much thought and arguments, we are going to go with My mom. Yes, we, yes, yes, we. Yes, There's no way that that's a we it, decision. I, I know you better. Yes. How <laughs> typical. Yes, you yes, let me yes, down. Yes. <gasps> yes, yes, Raya and Graydon, I love you. Mwah. Perfect. I really hope she doesn't get upset with me, but my stepmom is a bit of a British bulldog. But I know you have to go. Yeah, I got to go. Make I've got to go. Yeah. Pretend go. you're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to be a part of this anymore. I don't believe in the vision. I don't like it. Um, it's just too difficult. I, I really, I didn't want to come back. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. I knew it. It's really nice. We liked it. Uh, 
Uh, we need you, Julie. In my defense, I think I didn't have exactly 50% of the say. Uh, you know how, you know how it works. Me. It, we're a team. I know he likes it, and he just gave in. He just went, oh, yeah, OK, we'll go with the other one. I guess he wants a happy life, happy wife. It's That's what you really well. want for your wedding, is a sideshow. No, Let's no, bring no, on the clowns and the freaks. Tacky or not, it's going to be a great time. We'll have lots of color, and it'll be fun. Congratulations, Luba. Thank you. Remember, the couple chose your vision, so it's important that that's what you deliver. And Julie, you're going to be Luba's wedding assistant. You're going to help her create her vision. The dynamic between Luba and I is going to be really difficult to work with. I don't know where it's going to go, because she's just going to be so happy that she's putting together this vision. As far as them working together, I don't know. I think I may be on speed dial. With little time until the big day, Luba's first task is finding the perfect dress for Rhea. But in Luba's world, perfect can mean anything. Luba's in control of choosing the wedding dress. Rhea has no choice. Whatever dress Luba picks, that's what Rhea will be wearing on her wedding day. Oh, there's one. Come on, my dear. This place is fabulous. There's so much variety. Excellent. There's so many dresses to choose from. You could oh. go down aisle upon aisle, and it, every single style you could possibly think of, it was all here. There. Now, can you take that to where it's supposed to go? Right. Being her assistant, it's, it's terrible. She treats everybody like a little school kid just because she used to be a teacher. OK, Julie, now put a smile on your face. Ready? Come on, you can do it. Put that frown upside down for me. Come on, you can. I'm not one of your kids. You don't need to talk to me that way. Oh, but you're doing a fabulous job. Yeah. You're just a good helper. Let's go. Luba blindfolds her daughter, and Rhea won't catch a glimpse of her dress until her wedding day. All right. Yeah, just be careful. What do you think, Julie? What do you think, honestly? No. Okay. No? Definitely not. Right. Oh. Okay. I would never let Luba pick a dress for me. She doesn't have a clue what looks good. I'm very worried about not seeing my dress until the wedding day. There's people around me that see it, and I can't even see it, and I'm the bride. Oh, feel yeah. it, feel it, feel it. Ooh. There you go. Huh? Yeah, it's a nice dress. Choose. We can't just choose like that. No, no just it's say impossible. It's nice. You know, I like... have to look good. We'll try a couple more. Or four, or five, uh -oh. or six. Uh -oh. Let's go back here, hun, now. Okay. This is going to take a long time. Yeah. Oops, sorry, hun. Uh, <laughs> me, Daddy. Daddy. Right here, right here. There you go. What do you think, Julie? This is the first one I'm having a strong reaction to, and it's awful. <gasps> I mean, no. This is this is like what the priests wear when they're burying somebody. I don't know what's going on with Julie today. She had on her grumpy face. She didn't seem to be in on all the fun that we were going to have. This is it. I know this is it. This is the all one. Right. I just know Julie's going to love it. Well, what do you think, Julie? Um, I had to leave. I could just feel my entire life just floating away in nothingness. Mm, she's probably in the bathroom. And she will oh. return, and she will love it. OK. This is it. This is the dress. I'm not too sure if Julie's still in the bathroom. I don't really believe that, so that kind of makes me a little worried. This is the one. All right. Absolutely. My mom's and I's taste don't always match, so I hope that she maybe remembered some of who I am when she made this choice. Well, we it's you, huh? hear what Julie has to say. Oh, it doesn't <laughs> matter what Julie has to say. What does she know? Oh, well. I can't believe how much fun this has actually been. Luba's wedding vision means that Rhea and Graydon will be having apple fritters instead of a wedding cake. But Julie isn't sweet on the idea. Great! This is for my daughter's wedding, and they have to be just extra special. So if you could make me two or three or four <gasps> special fritters that I could do a little taste test. All right. Isn't it bad enough you're having apple fritters instead of a damn cake? Julie is a chef, a very good chef. So I'm not surprised that she's being a little bit of snob right now about apple fritters. Oh, Corey, let, let me, let me. Can I, can I, can oh, I make a couple? Oh, great. I want to make a couple. Oh, and it's so elegant. Well, it's just, it's an apple fritter. At the end of the day, it's a donut. Oh.
They're great, Corey. Mm. Awesome. It's just a fish. No, 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 no. It's just like a good romp in bed. Oh, mm. This Not is great. Close. This is perfect. Perfect. I would like 300 of these for the wedding. They can have the apple fritters as a dessert, but a replacement for a wedding cake, it's kind of lame. Next, Luba drags Julie off to her local antique dealer with the hopes of turning a rustic barn into a wedding venue. Come on inside. Awesome. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, well. This is, this is, it's not awesome. Just think of the potential. It's, it's there. It's all here. Just, this, we're talking about Look Saturday. Yes. You're talking about well, Saturday. Yeah, well, miracles this do Saturday, happen. Not they do Saturday happen. Saturday a year from no, now? No, 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 but miracles do happen. We've got 18 in the bridal party. <laughs> they can all pitch in and help. Julie's major problem right now is that she just can't see beyond the clutter. Once all this stuff is removed, it'll be perfect. Imagine the round tables and the beautiful blue tablecloths, and then your and glasses cats, for the, the wine. Cats, no, the cats, the... the cats will all disappear. Have faith yeah. in me. Have I disappointed you so far? Yes. Even if we brought in 100 movers to get this crap out of here, I don't see it. Look at the clutter, look at the dirt, look at the cats and, and, and probably rats. It, it's unconscionable that you're actually going to put these kids through this. I honestly don't think she can see beyond what's here. And you have to use your creativity and imagination. And it will work, without a doubt. I thought you were just eccentric. Now I really know you're crazy. Julie, this is the perfect setting. There's no more to be said. The decision has been made. I never wanted to be your assistant in the first place with this idea. I think the idea is in poor taste. You're now doing this disaster wedding, Julie. and everybody's going to remember it for the wrong reasons. No, they'll remember it for the right reason. Now, Julie. With Julie walking out, Gina has to step in and bring these two moms back together. I got a call from Julie. She decided to not be a part of the wedding just because of the barn that Luba chose. So I'm here at a different destination. I want them to take a look at this barn. Hi, guys. Thanks for meeting me here. I hear that you're not getting along. Just hear me out. Come and look at this space that I found. I think it's going to totally go with your vision. I will look, but I'm not going to promise anything. Okay. But I will look. Look, it's great. Right. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. It looks great. This could be your barn. Wow. A place for a wedding. But it looks like a, a conference center. There's nothing truly rustic. No, 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 no. Oh. This is amazing. I'm, uh, yeah, I can actually see this. The barn's great. It's fabulous. Luba, what do you think? I don't like it. I just don't like it. No, this place is it's amazing. It's not what I envisioned at all. It, it just doesn't have the right feel to it. it. It it doesn't have that rustic. It's a little bit too polished for me. In this place, I'm on board. You said I you're will, on I, board? Yes, honestly, promise. Push my heart. It is finally great to have Julie on my side. All right, I will concede. I will accept this barn. And do your miracle, Gina, 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 do your miracle. I promise you, this will be charming. This will be the wedding that you're envisioning. All There's right. just no time, let's go. Let's go look at the ground. All right, yeah. now I'm getting pumped. We can do this. This place has potential. Gina's gonna work her magic, and I'm gonna be in there, obviously, and we're gonna plan this thing and make it work, and it will become my vision. But Luba's happiness only lasts a few seconds. She's found something else that captures her attention. I feel like I'm using all of my wedding experience on this one wedding, just dealing with Luba. Oh. Oh, this is a nice spot. So I kind of wandered off and wanted to collect my thoughts. Awesome. And all of a sudden, through the past, oh, yeah. I found this amazing pond setting. <laughs> Luba? The barn is that way. What are oh, you doing here? I know. I, I had to leave that barn. I just, I had to leave it. But I, I came here, and you know what? I found the perfect setting for the actual ceremony. And the ceremony is going to be right here in this gazebo. Oh, this is it. I'm pumped now. That I'm, I'm totally happy. I thought I fixed the situation. Julie was back on board. She loved the new setting. She loved the new barn. And then Luba just wandered off, found this lake, ponds, rain, wet grass, no. wet guests. 
No, There's no it, reason it, why it we have to do it out happen. here. It will not we happen. We could convert the barn from the ceremony to the reception with absolutely no problem. No, no, no. Look, Gina, you chose this barn. I didn't want this barn, but the barn you chose has this amazing setting. The ceremony has to be right here, and that's it. I don't care about Julie. I don't care about what you think. I'm making the call here. I will set up the ceremony here if Good. you really Good. want it here. Absolutely, without, no, without question. But if no it does start to rain, Luba, we're sprinting into the barn. Gina is really worried about the weather. She's an experienced, wonderful wedding planner, but I just feel it in my bones. It, it, it's gonna work out, I know it. That's it, we're out of here, we're going, let's go do some work. I think that the wedding ceremony is a true risk. Seating people out here with potentially really bad weather is just a gamble. With the wedding day around the corner, Gina decides to visit Rhea and Graydon and calm any wedding concerns. Hey guys. There's so much fighting going on with the moms right now and this couple is so sweet. I just wanted to come here and check on them. You guys okay? No. <laughs> We're not really sure what's going on with this wedding. So we just want a little bit of clarification from you. What happened? Like, what's going on? We've been calling Julie, not returning our calls. She was supposed to come for dinner, didn't show up, no call. And my mom was saying that she wasn't happy. So we don't know anything and I hate that. <laughs> Julie definitely wasn't on board at the beginning. You know, she lost. Uh, your mom's vision is nothing like the vision that Julie had in her mind. So my also concern is if they're hating each other, what's gonna happen at the wedding? Like, I don't want them to be hating on the day of the wedding. The moms were in a bad place for a little while. We're totally moving forward. Well, if that's the case, you're a miracle worker. <laughs> Nothing else we can do. We have to trust her, so benefit of the doubt for you, Gina? I guess we're giving you the benefit of the doubt. I have full control over these moms. They're finally working together, and you guys are going to have an amazing wedding. Okay. All right. Thank you. With the bride and groom left at home, Gina gathers the group for the wedding rehearsal. And now, Luba's decided that the ceremony will be outside. The wedding ceremony is a true risk. Seating people out here with potentially really bad weather is just a gamble. I'm gonna have my groomsmen actually line up right here. Perfect, that's great. And my bridesmaids. Now tomorrow you'll be holding a bouquet, of course. You've done this before? Perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys, this is where you'll be tomorrow, weather permitting. You guys did a great job. Let's get married. Good job. Luba, can I talk to you for one minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luba, it's so cold up here. People are complaining. The grass is wet. It's about to rain. Are you sure that you want to do the ceremony here? The ceremony has to be here, outside. Okay. It's just all natural. It has to be outside. All right. Good. Okay, Luba. Good. We'll do it out here. Done. Done deal. <laughs> Keeping the wedding day details a surprise, Luba hosts a rehearsal night celebration at her country home. Can I get everyone's attention, please? <laughs> We just want to thank everyone for coming and Julie and Mom for making this happen. We're not sure what we're walking into tomorrow, so we'd really just like to have a great time and uh, hope you guys enjoy what it looks like and how it happens. So thank you and look this good looking tomorrow, please. It was great to see everybody here um, celebrating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have no idea what we're going to walk into at the venue. I don't want to be uh, made a fool of in front of family and friends. Yeah, there's a lot of faces in the crowd and really close friends, and I don't want to have them laughing. I can't believe we're still doing all this outside. But isn't the champagne wonderful? It, it hides all evils and all pains. There's this fabulous barn, and that was the whole thing about the barn, the barn, the barn, the barn, and now she wants an outdoor wedding. <laughs> this wedding's pushing me to drink. Oh, no. Everything is on my shoulders. There's just so much riding on this, and, and if the weather doesn't cooperate, I don't know, it just, it all has to fall into place. Luba's last minute choice of an outdoor ceremony means that Gina has to decorate two different locations. This way. Yep, just bring the chairs right in here. We're gonna go right along here. We need to bring decor here. We need chairs, we need arches, we need ambiance. And we have a ceremony, we have a receptionist set up, we have so much to do. 
And now that I think about it, let's make the aisle just a little wider. Gina and her assistants continue decorating as Luba makes a special delivery to a nervous Rhea. This dress is a first impression for Rhea, and it's very important to me that she just loves it. OK, honey, this is looking just fabulous. Mm -hmm. OK, honey, this is it. Open your eyes now. Oh my gosh. You picked this? Yes. I love it. This is amazing. Isn't it fabulous? Oh my oh, god. Look at that. Look at the back. Just like the peacock tree, oh, right? Oh my god. Isn't that wonderful? I can't believe you picked this. So I feel like a bride now. Like now I can get married and be happy because I have a glimpse of what is to come and I think I look good. And that's what I really was hoping for. Oh my god, Mama, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I am so proud. As a mother, are you kidding? My daughter in that dress is a million dollars. Oh, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> It's a good thing Graydon doesn't wear <laughs> earrings, is it? <laughs> Back at the ceremony site, the guests begin to arrive, along with Graydon and his groomsmen. Oh! oh. <laughs> Number one! <laughs> <laughs> but as the last minute decorating continues inside the barn, the moms are nowhere to be found. We are in a crazy, chaotic situation. Julie and Luba are over an hour and a half late. We've had to set up everything on our own. We are doing centerpieces. We're tying things on chairs. You name it, the moms have not arrived. One here. And someone needs to call Luba and Julie again to see where they are. With nearly all of the guests seated, Luba finally arrives. Gina, Gina, Gina. Luba, where were you? I'm late. The limo was late. He couldn't find the address on the GPS. It took him somewhere else. And then we were such in a hurry, okay? we forgot to pick Julie up. What is happening right now? I thought everything was set because we had a beautiful day and all hell broke loose. Are and you kidding me? And we just sent the limo back. And he's off getting Julie right now. Oh, Julie is going to just. OK. OK, calm down. Julie is going to be furious. We've got to get to the ceremony? We, we got to go. We got to go. OK, we only have a few minutes. And the limo okay. guy is going to go right down to the pond. OK, come on. That's what I told him. It looks like almost everyone's here. Oh, the guests are wonderful. Oh, they're waiting and we're late. Luba and I are racing down to meet the crowd. The crowd's already here. They're already seated. Oh, oh my gosh. It's OK. Don't oh, panic. Everybody. And I'm praying, let Julie be here. Let Julie arrive. She needs to be here for the ceremony. The limos finally dropped Julie off, and it's clear she's not happy. But there's no time to dwell on hurt feelings. The ceremony's about to begin. Luba's arranged for a horse and wagon to transport the bridal party. And Gina gives the signal that the ceremony can begin. The moment is finally here as Rhea's dad walks her down the aisle. Welcome to all of you and a special welcome to Rhea and Graydon on this special day. Rhea, I'm here to tell you that uh, I love you with all my heart and I give you all my affection and I will promise to let you win most of our arguments. <laughs> I love you for all the things that you do to make me feel loved, and, I and in return, I will do the same. I love you for what I know of you, and I trust you for what I don't yet. Rhea, I give you this ring, that you may wear it as a symbol of our marriage. You played it on your finger. Graydon, I give you this ring, that you may wear it, is a symbol of our marriage. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Graydon and Rhea, we now welcome you as husband and wife. <laughs>
The ceremony was beautiful. I don't know how Luba knew it, but the weather was perfect. The sun came out, it's warm, the bugs went away. It was perfect. Right. Smiling, one more. Desperate to resolve the obvious tension between Luba and Julie, Gina attempts to get the moms talking. You don't want to do that. You really don't want to do that. You really don't. I'm really, really done. Weddings are emotional days. Uh, I would like to say that I've never lost a mom here, but a mom stepped out of the game. Julie had had enough. She wanted to be picked up at a certain time. She wanted to get to the ceremony in advance, and Luba's limo never picked her up. She's really furious. Are you okay? I'm okay. I am absolutely fine. Okay. Yes. You have to understand that this is your daughter's wedding. It is my daughter's and wedding. People could act certain ways, and you need to go, and you need to have a great time. I am going to have a wonderful time. Okay. I made a really bad faux pas by not picking Julie up in the limo, and I'm, I have to make amends with her, and I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that, but somehow I will by the end of this evening. Let me introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Air. She hopped out of that carriage and the music was playing and I was holding back some tears. <laughs> she looked unbelievable. I've never seen her look so good. Mom, thank you for putting together this entire wedding. I was quite afraid at what everything would look like tonight, but cheers, you nailed it. Thank you for that. And Julie Jones, lady in blue, thank you for pasting that smile on your face. I do see your touches hidden beneath some of the extravagance, and thank you. I was pretty upset that the limo missed Julie um, picking her up, but I know she wouldn't like that, but she's in there having a good time, having a few drinks, and I think after three or four, it'll all be forgotten. It's a happy day, and there is no reason to resent anything else. We're done, they were happy, we're happy, it's over, now we can just drink and have fun. We pulled together the decor. Luba's vision was totally recognized. It looks beautiful. I came into this with a very strong vision of what I wanted. Gina had to step in and kind of settle me down. It does look like what I wanted. It's, it's perfect. She did a fabulous job. Yes, it was a rustic wedding, but with everyone working together and coming together, there was something so absolutely charming about this wedding. There's an amazing reception happening in the barn behind me, and everyone is in there just eating apple fritters and having a great time. Luba's vision of replacing a traditional wedding cake with apple fritters are a hit with the guests and the groom. I guess between Julie, Gina, and Luba, the three of them pumped out a great wedding. It was quirky, it was classy, it had all the elements that we expected and wanted. I couldn't be happier. I don't, I just, I'm all mumbled up because I'm just stupid happy. Julie, it was all yep, worth it. it was all You're worth still friends. Yeah. And we're Perfect. good friends. Okay, done. done.